Today we're playing the mightiest domain deck in the history of modern. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds, and today we're playing the mightiest domain deck in the history of modern. So when Dominator United came out, everyone is talking, oh, what are the best modern cards from this set? And there's a card literally everyone overlooked and that card is a random old common guy is my originally from invasion so old that it's not even legal in modern and i think part of the reason why people overlooked it is we do have a functional reprint of that card in might of alar exact same card just with a different name but the real power of guy is might is now we get eight guy is might effects in the format with might of Lara and guy is might and that allows for our mighty mighty for guy is might and might of alar a domain deck which hopefully will get a bunch of turn three kills so let's talk about how we're trying to kill people on turn three with our mighty, mighty modern domain deck. Jump into some games, see it in action. So the plan of our deck is really simple. To get our turn three kill, we need two things, I guess three things sort of, but two big ones. First, we need a five power two drop. So for this, we mostly use domain creatures like Territorial Kavu, Neshoba Brawler. If we get full domain, all five land types, they're five powered. Brushfire Elemental looks like a one one, but when we make a land drop, it gets plus two, plus two. So a single fetch land turns it into a five power creature. And then Cyanodraco, unfortunately just a four four. So sometimes it does leave us just short on damage, like two points short. The good news is modern's a fetch land format. So hopefully Hopefully our opponent will take a little damage from their mana and let Sign of Draco also be a turn three kill threat. But really, we just need any one of these creatures on turn two because our plan is after playing one of those on turn two and getting full domain, which we should always be able to do, or almost always, all we gotta do to kill our opponent on turn three is cast either of our might effects, Gaia's Might or Might of Alara. Just give plus five, plus five if we have full domain and then team or battle rage for double strike and trample. And that's game, five power creature, give it plus five, plus five. So it's a 10 power creature double strike and trample it so now it's hitting for 20 game over on turn three and that's all our deck wants to do there's other ways we can win like theoretically we could have three Gaia's mites or mites of Alara and cast them all on one of our five power creatures and that adds up to 20 damage or we can win later in the game by chipping in for damage and bolting and tribal flamesing uh, ley line binding really good removal since we should always have full domain mana base the main goal is to get domain on turn two and be able to cast a two drop so what we really need to do is fetch land on turn one to get a triome into the triome most commonly but xander's lounge can do it too and then fetch land on turn two to get the right shock land that's going to give us all five basic land types and let us play a two drop so then on turn three we can do our combo kill thing hopefully win the game sideboard force of vigor to deal with blood moon which absolutely owns us stubborn denial to fairy protect us uh protect our combo pieces essentially from removal at instant speed rest in peace for graveyards chalice the void for the cascade decks and that is mighty mighty domain for modern that that's our gets odds deck for this week, so let's jump into some games and see how big of a deal is Gaia's Might for Modern. Can we get some turn three kills? <laughs> let's find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Today's video is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom. You can get all the Dominaria United cards you need and help support the show over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. All right, against the odds time, we are ugh, mulliganing with the mightiest domain deck in ugh, modern. I mean, I guess we'll keep this. The question is what lands do we want? End of the Triumph plus Breeding Pool, all the land types. Let's put Stomping Ground, mm. but we also have Brush Fire Elemental. So we need all the land types. Yeah, we'll put Stomping Grounds to the bottom. I guess we're just playing Scion on turn two. No pump spells, unfortunately, so not not the dream draw, not the dream draw. I mean, we can we can do some things. Silent Clearing and Champion of the Perished. Yeah, let's just Breeding Pool, run out Scion. I'm an idiot. Breeding Pool, pass the turn. In Leyline Binding something, that's what I meant. <laughs> we still don't have all the land types. <laughs> yeah, we, we probably should play that in a very... That's one of the challenges of this deck, is the lands are a bit all over the place. Gotta be very careful. Yeah, obviously we have green twice and no red. Well, okay. Leyline Binding. Get rid of the Champion of the Perished. Another Leyline Binding. We'll crack this. Get our other Triome. Now we can actually play Scion past the turn. Oh, all right, so we're missing what? Double strike and 
We're missing double strike and we're missing a, a might. No pump effects, but we do have a four, four flying. That's a thing. Definitely not getting a turn three kill though. Like turn three is already come and gone. I don't know if our opponent can beat a Cyanodraka though. Like that might just actually be enough. Three mana, annoying to peacekeep. Ah, I mean, we have two removal spells in hand, so I think this is fine. Like whichever one they don't name, we can use to kill the peacekeeper and then the other one can kill the Thalia if we need to. Ah, so I don't think it actually matters what they name here. All right, chooses Bolt, sure. Passes, red, green, brush fire elemental, arid mesa, pump it, crack arid mesa, get a stomping grounds, untapped pump it and opponent <laughs> done all right we didn't need any mightiness but that was a that was a pretty good win uh we have like nothing for our opponent's deck though so i think we literally just run it back yeah none of this stuff does anything so yeah run it back see if we can be a little bit more mighty <laughs> i mean that was a fine win that was not exactly what we're trying to do which is the turn three you know nishoba brawler brush fire elemental territorial kavu whatever kill but that was still pretty good so the nuts is just so it's clear we talked about this in the deck tech but the nut draw that we're trying to assemble essentially any of our two drops on turn two uh with domain we gotta have full domain and i guess cyanodraco usually works and then any of our guys might spells and then any of our this is an interesting burning hand i'll well, we'll keep this uh any of our guys might spells and then teamer battle rage is just straight up lethal well windswept teeth go i think we just get a triome here to set up for territorial kavu opponent muta vault thalia thalia all right i'll well, crack the windswept teeth into the triome so we're missing red and blue which we can't actually get all right opponent hits us sure 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 down to 18. there's a battle rage we'll crack this grab a stomping grounds untapped so it's gonna take us two turns to get full domain we still get a four four though four four is pretty big against our opponent's deck you man Ooh, dismember all right all right that's pretty good for our opponent that is a lot of life though oh they have the thalia too yeah that thalia is gonna slow down the dismember so they're gonna have to spend two mana and four life i think that's fine because then we get to just fresh fire elemental and we're gonna have a lot of points of damage in hand although the thalia is slowing us down a bit opponent down to 16 with the dismember sure hits us for three sure we draw a bolt, even more damage. What well, one, two, brush fire elemental. Windswept teeth, pump it. Crack windswept teeth. One, two, three. Yeah, Sally is actually annoying, isn't it? I think we actually just get sacred foundry, even though that means we don't have full domain. Still no blue. Hit you for five, down to 11. Opponent, champion of the parish. Thalia's lieutenant. All right, that's a pretty good one for our opponent. Growing the team a lot. Does that let our opponent win this race? Hits us. Oh, down to six. We draw another brush fire elemental. Are we dead? The Thalia is actually kind of wrecking this hand. What do we do? What do we do? Is there any way out of this? Because this Mutavault, this Mutavault's a problem. Oh, we can try to chump block. That feels real bad. Esper Sentinel's gonna draw cards. And if we want to cast two spells, we gotta shock ourselves. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the Thalia carries there. We will run it back. This time we're on the play, which should be a pretty big difference. Maybe we just need to kill the Thalia. Maybe that would have been worth it. That was a big problem. We had all these spells in hand, but we couldn't cast more than one each turn. We also had probably our worst creature. Our other creatures can play offense or defense, but once our opponent killed the Kavu, we were left with Brush Fire, which really only plays offense. And no, no Gaia's Might. Like that's the other thing. We would have had the potential one-shot kill had we found a Might effect, but somehow not drawing, uh, not drawing our Mights this game, even though we have eight of them, we get to play first. Might Brawler and basically infinite lands. I don't think we can keep that. All right, that's also not great, but we will keep it. Breeding pool to the bottom. Triome go. About it. Cavern on human. Champion of the Bear. Ooh, there's a battle rage. Can we draw a Gaia's Might to finish this off? Steam vents untapped. Sign a Draco go. Opponent. Good planes, by the way. I can respect that. Oriok Champion. And opponent passes. Brawler. Green, red. Brush fire elemental. Opponent gains a life for now. 
Arid Maze, uh, go to combat, hit you for a bunch. I don't think we want to crack the fetch though. I think we save it for next turn because double fetch battle rage should just be the one shot. So this means our opponent's going to need some serious removals. Opponent goes down to 14 untaps. Turn four kills, not bad. It's not the turn three dream. We didn't draw the, we didn't draw the pump spell. Somehow we just cannot draw the mites this match, but battle rage should also be pretty good. All right, opponent, you need something pretty spectacular. I guess dismember could still be a blowout. So we're kind of hoping our opponent just taps out for something. And then we get the battle rage kill. Opponent silent clearing. Attacks, sure. We'll take the two to our commando to pump. So our opponent could still have Dismember. That is still theoretically possible. Opponent gains life. If we draw Gaia's Might, then it doesn't matter because that can play around Dismember. I guess it can Cathar Commando the Draco? Maybe that's their plan. And then I think we get it. Lightning Bolt. Play a fetch land. Grow the Brush Fire Elemental. Crack the fetch land. Forest. Grow the Brush Fire Elemental. Arid Mesa. Get a Stomping Grounds. Grow the Brush Fire Elemental. Yeah, let's force our opponent's hand here. Lightning Bolt the... Oh, actually, if we Lightning Bolt, we don't have lethal. All right, go to combat, attack. So we're expecting our opponent to block and sack, but then once they sack, Teamer Battle Rage Lightning Bolt should just be lethal. All right, so now we Teamer Battle Rage. <laughs> and make you die? <laughs> Did not even need the might this game, just the Battle Rage, enough. That's a double strike trampler, and that's a dead opponent. Oh. Turn four, turn four, not bad, but we can do better than that. We can do better than turn four with this deck. We can do turn three, we can do turn three. Let's keep going. Against the odds time, we are, oh boy, we're a fetch land away from, I guess two lands away. We got the double strike, we got the might, we got the, the domain creature. I think we got a mulligan though. All right, this one we'll keep. This one we're missing some of our combo pieces, but we should be good at assembling domain. Into the Triome Steam Vents, full domain. Domain. Well, we're missing the mites again. I wish we had one more land in that first hand and we would have kept it and it would have been the dream. But we will have to settle for playing a bunch of uh, two mana five fives, I guess. Oh, poor us. Only two mana five fives. Blooming Marsh for our opponent and the ignoblest of hierarchs. Well, Arid Mesa, crack Arid Mesa. Steam vents. Probably just Kavu, I think. Run out Kavu, could get Fatal Push, but that's the that's a challenge. Cyan doesn't get Fatal Push, but Kavu rummaging seems relevant to try to get our, our mighty, mighty pump spells to finish this game. Opponent presumably playing Yogg. Yogmoth wombo combo. What do you say, Ignoble Hierarch? Young Wolf, all right, so definitely Yogg. And Strangle Root Geist. All right, so opponent's just running a bunch of stuff out. Passes, Leyline Binding. Well, go to combat, get in with the Kavu. Loot, discard, sign of Draco, I think. Oh, Leyline Bindings, four days. All right, opponent takes it. I think we Lightning Bolt the Hierarch. So our opponent can't play Yogg this turn. Would have been nice to hit a land there. Being able to cast two Leyline Bindings would be, oh, Dryad Arbor. And another Hierarch. Well, we're probably gonna Leyline Binding something here just because what else are we gonna do? Yeah, I mean, Leyland Binding. Get rid of Strangle Geist. Take one. A bonnet passes. There's a Gaius Might. Well, go to combat. Get in with the Kavu. Discard Leyland Binding. All right, there's the land. So we can't win this turn. All right, so hit you for five. Play Brawler, Windswept Teeth, go. Well, let's see if they can Yogg. If they can Yogg, we can Leyline Binding. Our opponent can draw some cards, but then we should be able to just one-shot him. Wall of Roots, Grist, okay. So that can kill a thing? All right, Saxa Young Wolf gets it back. Yeah, kills the Kavu. Uh, one more Mighty spell would be sweet. Well, Crack Windswept Teeth. Temple Garden, untapped. I guess we just answer the Grist? Although it can't tick down again. Yeah, let's Leyline Binding. Get rid of Wall of Roots. Come on, Might, any Might spell. Territorial Kavu, I mean, that is good. Let's see if our opponent blocks. Opponent has the age old choice. Do we block or do we die? Attack our opponent. Uh, all right, opponent chooses death. <laughs> Got him! 
Tom. Oh, that's my favorite part about this deck is a lot of the time our opponent could play around it by blocking, but they don't know that they need to play around it by blocking. So they don't play around it by blocking. And then we, uh, and then we do that. Uh, we're gonna bring in the rest in pieces. Those seem pretty good against our opponent's deck. We'll go down a couple of lightning bolts, maybe all the lightning bolts. We want removal that can kill Yogg and Grist, who is Chalice worth it. Chalice on one does shut down a lot of what our opponent's doing. I guess we keep one bolt. Let's run it like that. Well, let's do that again. Now our opponent knows that, uh, that mites are a possibility. Oh, where's that turn three kill? Where's that turn three kill? I mean, the deck's been working though. Brawler, 10-10, trample, GG. <laughs> GG, modern players, GG. Opponents on the play. Oh, oh, that's the full, that's the full combo. We will keep. Does our opponent have the thought seizes and removal? Oh, they have thought seize. Birds, okay. Birds doesn't do it. Windswept teeth. So we need to get Triome Steam Vents. Wow, this is, this might be it. This might be it. Opponent cracks the Verdant Catacombs. Overgrow Tomb. Ugh. All right, that's going to make it much tougher. Windswept teeth, crack it, get the trio. Well, this is going to let our opponent kill some of our stuff. Yeah, that's a, that's a concern. Oh, we had the turn three kill too. Arid Mesa, crack Arid Mesa, steam vents. So I guess we're going to have to go a turn slow. Get the steam vents untapped, kill the grist. Pass the turn. Oh, we can't combo into an onboard removal spell. Our opponent just kills the the Kavu. Land for our opponent. Oh, and the Yogg. Well, this is a pretty good draw for our opponent. Turn two Gris, turn three Yogg is about as uh, about as good as Yogg can do. Yeah. All right. That's the Nutter Butters. Opponent gets and hits us. We draw fetch land. Well, all right. Territorial Kavu. Play the fetch land, but we might just be dead here. Oh, that silly, silly grist about it. Gonna start sacking things to draw cards. I mean, it's not impossible. Our opponent just goes infinite. Double young wolf blood artist, GG. Shrinking the Kavu is also gonna make it harder for us to actually win with it. Yeah, Maya. Passes. Oh, we could go for the win. Running it naked into our opponent's defenses feels bad though. Now let's play the fetch land. Go to combat. Let's attack and see what our opponent does. Loot. Away the stomping grounds. Oh, do we try it? It's probably safer to just kill the Yogg. Yeah. Oh, it's so much less exciting, but it's so much more correct. All right, hit ya. I think we gotta do it that way. Takes it. Well, we will. Tribal Flames Yogg. If they have Fatal Push, it just gets us so good. Wow, discards to proliferate. Interesting. And then sacks the birds. I mean, all this is kind of fine because then we just get to Scion of Draco and Scion does not get Fatal Pushed. All right, pass turn. Yeah, it's hard to leave Yaga on the table. It's just so easy for our opponent to go infinite. As much as it would be sweet to just go for the one shot. Although I guess it's also true that, oh, all right, Force of Vigor, pitching Eldritch Evolution. Well, let's see what our opponent does. We still could have lethal, even though this is a 2-2, thanks to Gaia's Might, which is plus five, plus five for one mana. Grist makes an insect, passes. Well, let's cast Gaia's Might. See what our opponent does, let's it resolve. Attack you. Exile, whatever. Well, I mean, I think we're going for it. <sighs> if our opponent's slow roll in the fatal push, then, then they get us. Come on, hold. Hold! <laughs> no, no fatal push, no fatal push. Got him, GG. <laughs> ah, that is some mighty domaining. Yeah, should have blocked. Actually, blocking there wouldn't even mattered. Should have had the fatal push. That's on you, opponent. Against the odds time, we are trying to get the turn three kill with the mightiest domain deck in Magic. Into the Triome, Steam Vents, all land types. No, well, all right. We're not super close to uh, the one shot kill here. We don't have any mites and we don't have double strike, but this hand's okay. Uh, if this brawler dies, it gets a lot worse because that's our only threat. Let's see what our opponent's up to. We got a lot of removal though. That's something. Uh, oh, Tron, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, our plan against Tron is just to kill him real quick. 
I don't know if this hand can do it though. Bloodstain Mire, crack Bloodstain Mire, get the Steam Vents. Run out the Brawler. So Brawler can hit for five. Oh, we need, we need some mites. Two bolts is six. Not sure that can raise Tron coming down though. I assume since our opponent kept seven, they have turn three Tron. Like usually Tron, if they don't have it, they're not gonna keep, not at seven at least. Oh, all those people that think Tron might come back in Brothers War, not happening. No sorry, Bob. A it, cracks the chromatic star. I don't think there's any way that wizards would put it into, into Pioneer. I think that would be bad. Our nemesis might be killing us. All right, so there's turn three Tron. I guess the question's gonna be, what's the follow up? Because we don't have much. The opponent gets there is his mind. We get to hit him for five. At this point, our best bet might be drawing tribal flames. I guess guys might this turn for more damage is good. Tribal flames. All right, well, play Xander's Lounge. Go to combat, hit you for five. I mean, maybe we can burn him out. We do have 11 points of burn. That means we essentially need one more attack. One more attack with this brawler and we win. But do we get in one more attack? Hopefully our opponent's on like the worm coil plan. Okay, there's, wow, they messed that up. They tapped their power plan before playing their Tron piece. Oh no. Oh, paid actor, paid actor. <laughs> we have paid Duelist 2175 to, uh, <laughs> to let us beat their Tron deck. We will be PayPaling them after the match. All right, Karn the Great Creator. I mean, this greatly increases our odds of win. I think this means we win. The opponent, I assume, is gonna get, well, we'll see, we'll see what they get. I assume it's liquid metal coating, but we'll find out. That's usually the first choice, and then they can shut down one of our lands and then start blowing them up, but Leyline Binding gets rid of the Karn. Five. Leyline Binding plus Bolt, plus Tribal Flames, plus Bolt, Sunder, oh, they're just, okay. Opponent's just setting up for next turn, but will there be a next turn? So we are going to, I mean, we're gonna go for it. Leyline Binding, get rid of the Karn. Lightning Bolt your face. Untap, go to combat, swing. Guys Might's actually good, because it means if they have Dismember, we still win. All right, hit ya, down to seven. Bolt your face, tribal flames your face, and uh, well, <laughs> got him. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if our opponent tapped properly. Uh, yeah, we also don't really have a plan for Tron. I mean, our plan for Tron is kill them. Kill them! Sundering Titan would be a blowout. Maybe Stubborn Denial's worth it. Maybe like go down bolts, go up Stubborn Denial. Force of Vigor can also be okay, but let's just, let's try it like that for now. Leyline Binding's a little bit sketchy against Tron because Karn and Ugin can blow it up. So exiling something big is a little bit frightening. Opponents on the play this game. We don't have a way to really shut down Tron lands. So our hope is that we can just one shot them. That we can just one shot them before the big stuff ruins it. Hopefully the Stubborn Denial, like one turn of Stubborn Denial to stop a Karn or something. That might be what swings the game. So it'd be a good matchup for the turn three kill. Although our opponent being on the play could be fast enough. I mean, worst case we could bring in some Force of Vigors, but they don't really help us kill our opponent. They do work well in the deck though, because we have extra, uh, extra green cards we can discard usually, or exile. Oh, we got the guy. I think we keep this. I think we keep Leyline of Sanctity. All right, that's actually fine. Little does our opponent know, our plan isn't really to, our plan isn't really to win with burn spells. Like it happened that game, but that isn't really our goal. Oh, another guy is mine. Okay, Windswept Youth Go. We'll see what our opponent does. If we need to Stubborn Denial something, we can. Like if they try to tutor up a Tron land, I think we just Stubborn Denial. Oh, mine. Well, all right, hopefully this is enough. Windswept teeth for a breeding pool untapped. Stubborn denial. We'll see, maybe they still have Tron, that is a possibility. But stop the Sylvan Scrying. Hopefully no Tron next turn. Opponent passes, so we get to get down the Kavu. Brawler, well, I think Kavu's just better than Brawler. Winds up teeth. So if we get Stomping Grounds, then we can end the Triome. Yeah, let's get Stomping Grounds untapped. Run out, the Kavu is a 3-3. Three, three. Well, the question is, do they still have Tron, even through us stopping that Sylvan Scrying? If they do, we're in a, in a sad, sad spot. Oh, they don't. Okay, that's good news. Opponent passes. Double strike, Scion of Duraku. Well, we will windswept teeth. We will crack windswept teeth. 
we will get the trio. Go to combat, hit you for five. Discard brawler. Oh my god, draw stubborn denial. Wait, this is this is a win, right? Okay, pass the turn. Wow, this is actually just the win. We don't have double strike, but double might. So we encounter anything our opponent does this turn, and then double Gaia's might is just game. The math checks out. The math checks out. Opponent, expedition map. Sure, not going to counter that. Because we're just going to kill you, Tron. Busted. Busted. Another turn four kill. We haven't gotten as many turn three kills. Have we gotten? We haven't gotten any turn three kills yet, have we? Haven't gotten any turn three kills, but these turn four kills are still nice. Aaron Mesa. Gaia's might. And also Gaia's might. And that adds up to dead Tron player? Well, good try, Tron. Good thing you had that lane line of sanctity to stop all of our Gaia's mites. And to rub it in, we'll exile a Sylvan scrying. Yeah, opponent tried to stop burn spells, but that's not really the plan of our deck. We just had this random burn heavy hand. Well, the only problem with playing all the Gaia's mites is maybe this deck isn't against the odds. Maybe this deck is just busted and we broke modern. Seems possible. <laughs> <laughs> broke it, broke it. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Against the odds time, we are, oh, this is so close. We're a land away from the turn three kill. I mean, we're keeping this. We've been trying to get this turn three kill. I mean, we're winning like crazy, but we've been trying to get this turn three kill forever and we just have not done it. But this might be the one, opponent, Mishra's Bobble, sure. So all we need is a land. Triome, Steam Vents, Kavu, Might of Alara, Teamer Battle Rage, 20 you. We need to not be disrupted and to draw a land. Opponent, gonna crack the bobble, take a peek, see if they wanna crack their fetch land. Steam Vents, untapped, and passes, and draws a card. And land? Gaia's might. All right, windswept teeth, go. Not quite a land, not quite a land, but that's okay. We still have two more turns to draw it. Oh, if we get Blood Moon, life is over. About it, consider. The other problem is Unholy Heat. They might get enough cards in their graveyard to be able to Unholy Heat. Although I guess we do have two Kavus and two Mites. Bobble, Blooded Strand, passes. Well, all right. Crack the Windswept Teeth. Get the Triome, untap. Opponent, gonna take a peek. Hopefully they're peeking at the land we need to complete this combo kill. And they don't have a counter. Leyline Binding. I mean, Leyline Binding is not bad. It doesn't help us combo kill, but I'm gonna play the Kavu. Please no counter. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. They don't have a sorcery or a creature for Unholy Heat. Come on, land. Come on, land. Come on, land. About it. We can loot, but we can't loot and play the lander in combat. So we need to draw the land as our draw for the turn. The good news is if our opponent like runs out a Expressive it or oh, there's the sorcery. All right, so that does turn on unholy heat. So that might mean the death of our cave. Oh, they find unholy heat off of the expressive iteration. Buster, ah, the dream has once again died. Land, we did not draw land. Well, we will play more cavus. Make our opponent have more unholy heats. Another game without the turn three kill. Opponent, oh come on now. All right, all the unholy heats. Exiles a graveyard, plays a Murktide. Yup, yup, yup. Well, a land would once again be good. If we draw a land, we can Leyline Binding and play Sign of Draco. Eventually our opponent will run out of Unholy Heat's Lightning Bolt. Well, okay. Leyline Binding, get rid of the Murktide, pass the turn. I mean, I guess we weren't gonna get the turn three kill anyway because we could not do the easiest part, which is draw one more land. Dragon Rage Shanala. Well, I mean, we will bolt the channeler. Untap. Now oh, there's a land, so play a Sign of Draco. Pass the turn. Back in business, maybe. If they have another Unholy Heat, we can try to Might to Fizzle it. Opponent, Expressive Iteration. This might be good for us. This is using our opponent's mana. They've already used two Unholy Heats. Gets a Ragavan, sure. Does not dash it. Theme Vets. Well, I mean, I think we're going for it. So we untap. We crack the blood state. I mean, we're going to go for it. They could have like a spell pierce. They could have a spell pierce. Crack the blood stain mire. Get the stomping grounds. Gaia's might. Do they have another unholy heat? Go to combat. No spell pierce. No spell pierce. In death. Battle rage. Hold. Oh, that looks like 18. That looks like 18. This has got to work, right? They only got one mana. Ah, 
Oh, got him. Okay. Well, it took a little longer because our opponent had the double, the double unholy heat. We got there in the end. Oh, we might need to do a lot of sideboarding here. We have a lot of cards that are good against this deck. Rest in peace, stubborn denial, unholy, like pretty much our whole sideboard. The question is, how many can we actually bring in? If you look at a Murktide list, a lot of one mana spells. So Chalice is actually kind of relevant. Shutting down the graveyard is also kind of relevant. Teferi to stop instant speed stuff, also kind of relevant. And then Stubborn Denial to protect our stuff, also, also, also kind of relevant. We're on the draw. Chalice does get worse on the draw. Let's bring in the rest in pieces. Do we want to be dirty Teferi players? The problem is I have no idea what we're supposed to cut. If we cut brush fire, we're going to be a little light on creatures. Maybe tribal flames. Let's cut tribal flames. Tribal flames is expensive for killing like a Raghavan or DRC, and it probably isn't going to kill Murktide. What do we want to go with this though? All right, go down to brush fire, go up the dirty to fairies. You know what? One to fairy, two stubborn denials. Let's try it like that. Yeah, try it like that. Yeah, I don't think we can keep the one lander. We really need at least two lands. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. The question is, what do we put on the bottom here? So we got the two lands. We need our creatures. It's probably the Gaia's might. So we need to be able to kill Raghavan. We need to be able to kill Delver. Yeah, let's, this does mean it's less likely that we're gonna get the combo kill. Although we don't have double strike anyway. So it's not like we have the combo set up and are just throwing it away. Misty Rainforest opponent cracks it. Steam vents untapped and Dragon Rage Shanala. Well, Arid Mesa, crack Arid Mesa. Oh, we gotta think about this. We're not gonna be able to get a Triumph, so how do we do this? So if we get Stomping Grounds, Sacred Foundry, Red White. Well, all right, I guess we just, yeah, let's get Sacred Foundry untapped. Bolt the DRC, pass the turn. Hmm, so we're gonna need to draw one more land, basically. Because the way we're getting our lands, we're not going to be able to get full domain. Opponent, Steam Vents. Dash Ragavan, that's bad. All right, Dash Ragavan, pretty bad for us. Opponent gets in. Steal a non-land at least, steal a non-land. That would make us a little bit happier. Dash is Ragavan, steals a land that we wanted. Picks up the Ragavan, we draw. We do draw land, okay, so. We don't have green. Into the Triome. All right, so this kind of works. So I think we Steam Vents untapped, rest in peace. Shut down the graveyard, shut down the Merc Tides. We are gonna get hit again by Ragavan. But next turn we get to do things. Wow, they're not gonna dash it? Wow, all right, no dashing. Instead, all right, GG. <laughs> yeah, uh, one card that we cannot beat is Blood Moon. <laughs> not with this setup, not with this setup. Well, Blood Moons, A. Go down the Stubborn Denials. I guess we gotta go up a couple of Force of Vigors because that's an out to Blood Moon. And now we know that our opponent's doing Blood Moon things. We'll go down the Teferi. The problem is Force of Vigor doesn't do anything except stop Blood Moon. I kinda want the Chalices. I feel like being on the play, if we Chalice on one on turn two, it probably just beats our opponent. Our only basic is a Forest, so we can't even, I mean, not that we could Leyline Binding anyway. I feel bad about this, but I think we gotta go down one might. <laughs> we gotta have the Blood Moon answers, cause it's just, Blood Moon's such a blowout. Ooh, one land chalice. Oh, we got a mulligan it though. This hand is real, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, yeah, I keep mulliganing. Well, this is gonna have to be the greatest chalice of all time. Stomping grounds to the bottom. Fetch land to the bottom. Well, uh, land go. Not feeling great about this hand. Two Might of Alara is against a Blood Moon deck. Not ideal. Opponent passing. I'll crack this. Get a Xander's Lounge. Untap. Play the Forest. I mean, we're gonna do it. They could have Spell Pierce for sure, but Chalice on one. About it. This does shut down our Might of Alara's, but it also shuts down a lot of our opponent's deck, and it doesn't stop any of our creatures. Okay, opponent considers. All right. No one drops allowed, no one drops allowed, which means our hand is essentially empty. <laughs> Can we draw a creature? This does mean we're not gonna get got by Ragavans in DRCs. Like most of our opponent's deck is one mana, but also quite a bit of our deck is. Double-edged sword, potent, passing. All right, good two drop, please. Brush fire elemental, well, red, green, brush fire elemental. And counterspell? Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> five cards, not a lot. It's not a lot. Flooded Strand. Bobble. Cracks it. Cracks the Flooded Strand. Yeah, Blood Moon is really good against us. We mostly hope they don't draw it. And if they do, life is bad. Steve Vets. Oh no, are they Blood Mooning? All right, now Blood Mooning. Looks like an Archmage's Charm, probably. But it passes. Draws another card. Lightning Bolt. <laughs> oh, add that to the can't cast list. Maybe Chalice on one was a bad idea. Like it's hurting our opponent, but it's also hurting us. Passing. Well, we haven't gotten Murktided yet. Well, past the turn, I think we cycle the Triome. Opponent, passing, discarding the hand size. Well, crack there in Mesa. Get a Temple Garden untapped. Cycle the Triome. Ugh, more Arid Mesas. Opponent discards DRC. Arid Mesa go. Uh, the battle of two decks doing nothing. The problem is they're gonna draw a, they're gonna draw a Murktide eventually. Discards one drop. Unholy. We draw a lightning bolt. I don't know if I'm regretting this chalice or loving this chalice. We're not dying, but we're also not doing anything. Please not a one drop. Eh, rest in peace. I mean, that is pretty good. Good, good enough to cast. Probably good enough for our opponent to counter, because if this resolves, they're never gonna be able to Murktide. All right, another counter spell. Well, pass the turn. The other problem is eventually our opponent's gonna draw the Blood Moon, and that's still really good against us. A bonus. Wow, refusing to draw lands. Passes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a one drop, but in depths. A bonus passes, still not drawing lands discards an unholy heat oh my god well this is the mightiest hand we've had although we got nothing to target and a chalice on one about it going to pass we draw sign of draco play the land sign of draco oh no there's archmage's charm <laughs> Okay, pass the turn. I'm on it. You know that they're gonna draw it. They're gonna draw Blood Moon or Dragon Rage, or not Dragon Rage, Murktide, and then we're just dead. Expressive iteration to draw some cards. Gets a bolt, they can't cast, plays a land. Well, maybe it's deck thinning time. There's upside to holding the fetches because of brush fire, but the downside is we're not drawing any action. Oh no, we have 20. 25 points of pump in hand, but we have a chalice on one. We might Leyline Abinding our own chalice if we draw one. Land. Passing. Kavu. Well, we will attempt to cast it. Are you out of counters yet, friend? Looks like sort of. Well, pass the turn. All right, all right, that's that's good. Now if we draw Leyline Binding. Leyline Binding the chalice, cast all the pump spells. Oh God. Well, now it's a 2-2. Opponent passes. Well, now we're not casting spells for the rest of the game. Well, actually, we can cast Brawler. It's not very good, but we can cast it. Get in. Discard a Might of Alara. Oh, one turn short. I mean, I guess what we have to find is... I guess what we have to find is a uh, Force of Vigor. Force of Vigor to get rid of the Blood Moon and maybe the Chalice. And we need to find it quick. Because here comes a Murktide. Force of Vigor. Force of Vigor off the top. There's a Murktide. It is as big as a Murktide can be. Ragavan gets countered. Yeah, Dash does not get around Chalice. Another guy is Might. All right, uh, so I guess we pass. Discard the Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I don't know if this was worth it or not. Unclear if it was worth it. About it. Another Blood Man? Yep. Hits us for eight. So this is it. It's got to happen on this turn. Our opponent needs to not have a counter spell. Kavu, well, go to combat. Do some attacking. Loot away a light, eh, might of Alara. Force of Vigor? No. And dead. Oh, yeah. Well, we found the weakness of our deck, which is Blood Moon. <laughs> Blood Moon's so good against us. Well, maybe we should have brought in even more. Maybe we should have brought even more uh, Force of Vigors. Another option, like, so if Blood Moon's a big problem, another thing that we could do is play a single Planes, and then we could at least have Lane Line Binding Mana. Although the problem is, if we only have Planes and Forest and Mountain, I guess it's still three mana. I guess that's still reasonable, but it is pretty expensive, so. So close.
a yes, that's time. We are trying to get the turn three kill with the mightiest domain deck in modern, and we're gonna keep this. We need a fetch land. If we draw a fetch land, this could be the turn three kill. Ugh. All right, we really need the fetch land. <laughs> No fetch land is, is rough with this deck. We don't have any red mana, so we can't play anything at the moment. On the other hand, if we draw a fetch land, then anything could happen. Scalding Tarn for our opponent. Passes fetch land. Opponent cracks a Scalding Tarn. Oh, they're going to tap us down. Ugh. All right, that's awkward. That is awkward. So opponent's playing a Cascade deck. Ice our land. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, we even drew the fetch land. All right, well, windswept teeth, go. So no turn three kill because of uh, ice. Does our opponent have rhinos? Can we beat rhinos? Wooded foothills, opponent passing. Well, crack windswept teeth. Oh, windswept teeth. Can this get all of our land types? White, black, it can't. Oh my God, so awkward. I guess we get the stomping grounds. Yeah, we're not gonna have blue. All right, stomping grounds tapped. Opponent passes. Guy is might. Well, I mean, we're gonna play Temple Garden untapped. Yeah, we're not the Kavu as a 4 4. Pass the turn. Oh, so we need one land probably? On a cracks. Are we getting instant speed rhinos? Looks like maybe. Oh, just a brazen borrower. Okay. Well, that's good. That's not bouncing our Kavu. Gets and hits us. I mean, I guess the question is, do we go for it? Do we go for the for the win? Stomping grounds. Just runs out of bone. Oh, okay. Come on, land. Come on, land. Come on, land. Brushfire elemental. That's not a land. If our opponent doesn't block, we still have lethal. If they do block, then what? Oh, the problem is they're like incentivized to block and trade. All right, go to combat attack. Let's see what happens. Go to combat attack. Loot. Discard brushfire elemental. Draw. There's the land. Ah. If our opponent blocks, what are we gonna do here? All right, let's see what happens. Does block. Bolt the bone crusher. So we're gonna try to set up for the kill next turn, I think. Bolt the Bone Crusher. Opponent takes zero. Bloodstained Mire. Crack it. This better be able to get some blue mana. All right, Steam. Oh, Xander's Lounge? How low do we go? Steam Vents, untapped. The other thing we could have done, and maybe we should have done, is we could have just played Scion of Draco first, but then we would have had no chance of the one shot kill. Like if our opponent, our opponent wouldn't block, but then we wouldn't have the mana for the mites and the double strike. Opponent cracks. Island, lots of mana. Bayuri, going after Scion? All right, sure, I guess we just win. We will just win with the Kavu, opponent. <laughs> Tries to MH to us, but it's not gonna work. Opponent hits us, we will take it. I mean, I guess they could have force negation. So let's, just in case, let's ley line binding. Get rid of the fury. Oh my goodness, uh, Gaia's might. Gaia's might. Might of Alara. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 2020 that's a 2020 that's a 2020 <laughs> the mightiest kavu in magic so good so good well i mean i think that was rhinos but without them drawing without them drawing a cascade spell is what it looked like to me so if they're playing rhinos chalice in to fairy in. Very good against cascading. Well, not quite turn three, but that was still pretty impressive. When you go down a brush fire elemental, that kind of gets got by fire ice. Maybe like brush fire, brush fire, bolt and bolt. Try it like that. The bolts aren't that great. Our opponent can't play anything that costs less than less than three, other than the rhinos. Guy is my is guy is my one of the most impactful cards from Dominaria. Oh god. I mean, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this because it's very good at shutting down rhinos. Although we do not have a threat. Although we do have. Wow. If we can just draw a creature, windswept teeth. Well, we will play a fetch land. Play a chalice on zero. All right, opponent has force negation, so opponent really wants those rhinos. Oh, we just really want to draw a two drop. If we can draw a creature, we can win next turn. Triome, untaps, wooded foothills. Well, unfortunately we do need to crack this, which turns on fire ice, because we need to get the triome. 
Okay, there's the cop view. Wooded foothills, crack it. Steam vents, untapped. Kavu. Phone, it cracks. Gets a forest. All right, well, we will pass the turn. Do they block? We have the full combo kill. Phone, it passes. Do we just go for it? We have the Might of Alara. We have, oh, we have 20 points of damage. We could get blown out though. Play the land. Go to combat, attack, loot, discard a bolt, draw a brawler. Might of Alara? I mean, this is what we came here to do. We're gonna do it. Forest. Teamer Battle Rage? Oh, they have an answer? They have an answer? What do they have? Oh, <laughs> dead gone. Okay. Oh, that was so close. Pound it, breeding pool untapped. Pass it. Now we will replay the Kavu. Opponent. I'm gonna subtlety the Kavu. Yeah, we'll put it on top. Land untapped. Sign a Draco past the turn. Oh, that was so close to the turn three kill. Dead gone. Who would have thought it would be dead gone? For three mana, mono red bounce. We got a plane shifted there, opponent. What are we doing, subtlety? Opponent passes. Well, I mean, we will play a Kavu. Hit you with the Scion. Opponent going to block. And then play a Brawler? All right, Rhino was opponent. Okay, stomps on the, yeah. Well, we're still not getting rhino though. The fact that our opponent hasn't had rhinos has been very good for us. Okay, bounces a Kavu. This is annoying. Oh, we are so close. We are so close to the turn three. I mean, we kind of three for one to ourselves and we still are in okay shape. All right, bone crush a giant. Opponent passes, we draw. Xander's lounge. Play to fairy. Bounce the Bone Crusher. Xander's Lounge. Hit you for five. Oh, Might of Alara could be lethal next turn. Opponent. Land. Okay, so now they can Bone Crusher the Teferi and play the Bone Crusher. Gets a mountain. Okay, cast the Fury. All right, kills our board, unfortunately. Passes. Well, one, two. Havu. One, two. Scion. Pass the turn. Another fury. Well, let's see what they target. Going after the Scion. Well, in that case, we will Might of Alara to save it. This does mean we don't have lethal, necessarily. We need any might. We need a might. We need a might. Scalding Tard, opponent. Hmm? Huh? This is a bad attack for our opponent, right? I mean, we're gonna go for it. I don't know how we get blown out here. All right, kill the Fury. Opponent passes. Might. Come on, a Might. Or a Team or Battle Rage. Kavu. Now go to combat. Attack you. Loot away the Kavu. See if we can hit a lethal pump spell. That's not a pump spell, but that works. Oh, that's what our opponent gets for not letting us win on turn three. Oh, we had it. The most impressive part of that is we went for the combo on turn three with Might of Alara and Teamer Battle Rage. Our opponent had the answer in Dead Gone of all things. We still won. We were able to throw away multiple cards and we we're still able to win with the Mites and the Mites still came through with the Mites saving that Scion so we could block with the Territory Okabe. It was still huge. Deck sweet. So what do we learn this week? about mighty mighty domain in modern so good news bad news situation the good news is the deck was actually kind of bonkers we ended up going five and one with the deck and just kind of crushed people our one loss came to blood moon and blood moon is just uh, we're never beating that card blood moon just pretty much straight up beats us on its own yes after sideboarding we could get a force of vigor and get it off the battlefield but in reality at least in game one we're just drawing dead to our opponent resolving a blood moon so eh, if you got it you got us so that's the good news the bad news is the turn three kill proved to be elusive we got a million turn four kills that happened many many times and we got to go for several turn three kills but there were a lot of blowouts with the turn three kills the worst 
one was that red bounce spell. Oh my god, I still can't believe that happened. Who plays a red bounce spell? Why does a red bounce spell even exist? Uh, so we went for it multiple times, but our opponent would have like a bounce spell or a fatal push or whatever to keep us from being able to kill our opponent. So the deck was really, really good. But rather than winning on turn three, we most commonly were winning on turn four. Maybe the most impressive part of the deck though was even when we got blown out, we had games where we'd like play our two drop on the next turn, we would cast a pump spell, team or battle rage, and our opponent would kill it. So we'd essentially like three for one ourselves, and we'd still be able to win the game by piecing together our mighty spells, our team or battle rages. And I gotta say, Gaia's Might and Might of Lara, those cards are absolutely legit. Not only do we see them killing our opponent, we also got like the double, triple might kill at some points. Like we did have some really sweet things with this deck. So not only are those cards really sweet on offense, where you just use them to make a creature huge and one shot our opponent, it. They also are kind of interesting as protection for our creatures. We got to see some like try to fury our thing, and we're like, oh, guy is might grow it, survive, or Yagmoth our thing, guy is might grow it, survive. So it's good at protecting from some removal. It doesn't stop all removal. There's still fatal pushes, there's still solitudes and march of otherworldly lights or whatever, but it is relatively good protection. Honestly, the biggest problem with this deck is it maybe didn't feel against the odds enough. I mean, we are playing eight Gaia's Mites and we are trying to get turn three kills, but the deck was so good and we won so much of it. By the end of it, I was like, maybe this is just like a real deck. Maybe this isn't against the odds deck. Maybe you should just be playing all the Mites that you can and playing Mighty Mighty Domain in Modern because maybe this deck outside of getting Blood Moon is just actually legit. So anyway, that's been Mighty Mighty Domain. That's our against the odds for this week. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon looking for some more janky magic well make sure to check out last week's against odds where we played five color defenders in pioneer